Good morning, bird brains. Today is finally the day I get to reveal the big announcement that I've been teasing you guys about for months and also talk about what the hell's going on with my hair. Let's get into it. <laughs> Just a quick reminder, we are having the fifth annual Bike and Bird Father's Day ride this Sunday, June 18th. So please, if you haven't already and you plan to attend, I've gone ahead and included the uh, event page down in the description. If you don't have a Facebook, just leave me a comment saying, hey, I plan on being there, don't have Facebook. I just wanna make sure we can get the restaurant scheduled away and all that, but. And now onto my hair. Uh, I didn't really get to have a uh, COVID weird hair experiment because I had a real job and they didn't allow stuff like this, but uh, now my boss is way cooler. It's me. And uh, I just wanted to look like I had a recent head trauma, so I went ahead and did this. But all that doesn't really matter because the topic of today's video is the big project that I've been teasing you guys for months and months and months and months about. I have been working my literal tail off on this project since the Stubborn American Rally. I don't exactly remember where that when that was. Uh, future Justin, go ahead and pop a, a general date up here. Uh, but yeah, Adam Sandoval approached me. He said, hey, I'm putting together a team of creators to pretty much try Try to change the motorcycle industry when it comes to routes, restaurants, parks, attractions, roadside stops things of that nature where you don't have to go across a billion websites to try to, to find something and you're not also getting mixed reviews from people who aren't on motorcycles because we all know going into a parking lot I mean something as simple as a parking lot on a motorcycle versus a car can be completely different and it can completely change the trip so without teasing you guys anymore I'd like to introduce you to Motorcycle Destinations. Motorcycle Destinations, or MD as we like to call it, is a team of eight different YouTube channels. And I'd like to take this time to kind of introduce you to everybody because a lot of these people I didn't know prior to even joining uh, this team. Some I did, most I did, about half and half. But the talent and skill level and diversity and everything of this team is so incredible that I really want to highlight every single person and what they bring to this team and hopefully give you a reason to both A, go check out Motorcycle Destinations and B, go check out their personal channel as well. So first off, we have Adam Sandoval. Now, Adam Sandoval probably doesn't need much explanation on this channel as he fits a very similar audience uh, demographic that I do. You have seen him on this channel multiple times with the world record attempts. And you've probably heard some spattering around about uh, something pretty big he's doing now called the 120th year anniversary convoy, the Great American Convoy, where he's riding to 120 Harley Davidson dealerships uh, to raise money for the Wounded Warriors Foundation. Next on the list, we have Ryan from Full Throttle Hog. Now, I actually got the pleasure of meeting Ryan very briefly during the Stubborn American Rally. Neither uh, him or I had ever heard of each other, but uh, we quickly became friends. We quickly realized we had a lot of stuff in common, and uh, Ryan is extremely talented behind the camera. And hopefully you guys know by now, I don't say that lightly. And next up we have Doodle on a Motorcycle. Now she is pretty large on YouTube, so there's a good chance that a lot of you guys have at least heard of her. She's had a couple viral videos uh, about solo adventuring across the country. Excellent storyteller, excellent videos, and is a wizard behind the scenes with um, analytics and demographics and marketing and things of that sort. She rides mostly ADV. I believe she has a BMW GS, does a little bit of off-roading here and there, but mostly uh, travel and adventure videos. And speaking of traveling and adventure, the next up we have Scrambler Stories. They are a couple that travels across the country full time on a, I believe it's a Triumph Scrambler and a converted Honda Rebel Dual Sport. Also, like Ryan, I had the pleasure of meeting these guys at the Stubborn American Rally, and their channel is pretty much full-time traveling, uh, vlog, they do on-road stuff, off-road stuff, uh, moto camping, and they go everywhere. So if you want a good view across the country, they just got back from Mexico even, go and check them out. And then we come upon Just GQ. Uh, this guy came across my radar just before uh, this project came to be, and, and when I first came across him, I'm like, this guy, he's gonna, he's gonna be up in our numbers in no time. He's an up and coming Harley vlogger out of New Orleans. And honestly, my favorite content that he puts out is some of the stuff over on his TikToks. He has really short like uh, motorcycle themed clips. Some of them are like comedy skits and they are absolutely hilarious. I just watched one the other day where a guy pulled rice out of his saddlebag and I almost fell on my chair laughing. But an overall great guy, he's a, he's a teacher in his day life and just a very wholesome, very down to earth guy. Sitting in the penultimate spot on our list is going to be Moto Shorty. Uh, she fits her name. She's very short. I believe she's like five, 
between five and five two, and she rides a GS. How she does that, I'm not quite sure. But uh, she's up in the DC area. She covers kind of that uh, that northeastern seaboard area and gets some amazing views, is able to go on some amazing rides, and covers a lot of cool events and places up in that part of the country. And funnily enough, she actually doesn't have a YouTube channel or she didn't as of recording this video. Uh, she is just on Instagram, but we were really liking what she was doing over there on Instagram. Plus she obviously has the skills cause she does some sort of multimedia stuff for her day job. And honestly, I can't wait to see the location that she's gonna put up on motorcycle destinations just because of what area she's in and the beautiful countryside that she can get up there. And then last but certainly not least is going to be She Rides Moto. Once again, someone who doesn't have a motorcycle YouTube channel or didn't, <laughs> but she has over 200,000 followers on Instagram and is constantly out there crushing the miles on her road glide. And once again, showed that she could definitely throw down with the big guys with uh, her her talents behind the camera on Instagram. And she is out of South Carolina, North Carolina. She's in the Carolinas area. So once again, amazing riding out there. I can't wait to see the spots that she gets as well. So you might be asking yourself, why does one YouTube channel need eight different creators? And here is what I believe is gonna set us apart from every other channel out there. Motorcycle Destinations is going to be posting new videos every single day. That's right, daily videos, 365 days a year just constantly showing you cool new places, cool new spots, cool new rides, cool new routes all across this country. And eventually we will be branching out into other countries as well. Now, the best part about these videos is they're all going to be under three minutes long. They're gonna be very short, high production, uh, right straight to the information type videos. That way it makes them very search oriented. You can get in there, get the information you need and get out as quickly and easily as possible. But most of the time, if you see a short video on Motorcycle Destination, that creator is probably going to have a longer vlog style video in and around that area as well. So if you want the meat and potatoes of the destination, you can go to Motorcycle Destinations channel. But if you want something for dessert or something a little extra, you can go over to one of our channels. Now I can't speak for all creators, but I know for me at least, this is going to lead to a lot more traveling on my end. Unfortunately, I just had a uh, shoulder surgery in case you missed that. So I'm still off the bike for about another month or so. And then I'm gonna need another couple weeks for the sun to stop eating Texas alive. But I'll be back on the road shortly after that, just knocking out destinations. This will become kind of my full-time objective on YouTube, but that's just great news for you guys because that means I will constantly be on the road. And while I'm on the road, I'll also be making other bike and bird things other bike and bird style uh, vlogs and travel trips and things like that. If you're watching this video, today is Motorcycle Destinations launch day, which means you have a video from every creator already live on the channel right now. I'll go ahead and include a link to that channel down in the description or add a card up here or something. Please guys go over and check that out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments, let us know what you think. Uh, if you have any feedback, definitely leave us leave them there in the comments. We're gonna be paying very close attention to the comment section over the next couple of weeks because we really wanna make sure that we are not missing something or uh, not providing something that the audience is wanting. I'll also go ahead and include a link to all of the channels I mentioned down in the description so you go give those guys a follow as well. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.